starting to disappoint. I know, I know. You were all expecting Ben Affleck or Christian Bale to be underneath that. You were all fooled. Even I was fooled there for a second and thinking, wow, that was Batman. But it wasn't. But even though we don't have the real Batman, we do have something else. A collector's edition of Batman. Of Batman we got here. And for today where I'm going to be talking about it. Obviously I'm going to be talking about it. I don't know. I'm just not going to sit here and go hover. But, uh, I fucking just hit my head with this damn thing. Son of a bitch. Alright. Start off. Um, there are certain things. I'm going to try to remember how I had this set up. Um, how everything went when you open it. As everybody knows you get the three little vehicles. But I'm just going to go one by one by my, on the things. Let's talk about certain things. Um, sorry, I got like caramel on my teeth. I'm eating a Laffy Taffy apple or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, so here, this is the um, DVD book. Uh, got the first one, Batman Begins. I do believe... Yeah, this has movie and special features on it. The last two... Oh, here you go. I got Dark Knight. He Mother's Joker. I uh, got the movie. You got the special features also. Two discs for this. And you got the Dark Knight Rises. Um, what, what's his name? I forget what the guy that plays is. <sighs> Bane. It's not Tim Allen. That's from fucking Home Improvement. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but... <clears throat> right. I forget his name. It's an like easy name to know. But he, it's them. Um, Broken Batman mask right there. Um, this one, I believe, is the, yeah, movie, special features, and then, I believe, yeah, this one's just straight up, like, special features, oh, the whole trilogy, so, I mean, that's pretty cool, there's a lot of stuff in this, um, and then there's the, uh, you got, what, you got Bane there, you got Bane in there from The Dark Knight Rises, so, that's just the DVD, um, portion. Uh, another cool thing. Get it fucked out. I'm gonna drop this shit out of the place. Alright. It's this. Um, right. It comes a little like a Batman envelope. That's not even an envelope. It's like a fold in my life. And, um, <clears throat> basically what you get with this. These are paintings by um, uh, I don't know the guy's name. It says Jock or something, Mondo or something. And these are paintings that he made. Uh, so there you got Ra's al Ghul. Um, if I could read it, men fear most what they cannot see. So you know, he's right there. And then fear most what they cannot. I don't know if you could. Yeah, there we go. And fuck, where am I? Men fear most what they cannot see. So that's pretty cool. And they just come in a little envelope. Uh, here we got the Scarecrow. Uh, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. So, all this is like a guy that drew this shit. Which is pretty cool. I wish I could draw. I just draw like stick figures. Uh, see yourself become the villain. You know, I uh, got the Harvey Dent one. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, and some men just want to watch the world burn. Obviously, he called his Joker, and you know, eyes burn and all that stuff. Then the last one, last villain of the series. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes this pit sends something back. I'm gonna read that. I can read that word fucking right there. Sometimes, and uh, I can even tell it was this it's DNA went together, but you know, got the bane right in there, so you know. I have everything usually just in the folder. Some people may hang this somewhere or something like that, but I usually just keep them tucked away in the little tiny Batman documents. I don't know. Um, and you get like 
UV code or something. I haven't used it yet. I've had this for like a year. Uh, get this. I'm not going to go through every single thing because it's going to be really time consuming. But, uh, basically, just quotes and certain pictures that they were able to do and stuff. I mean, throughout, like, this series, you got Batman Begins, you got, I'm just going to say Liam Neeson and Christian Bale there. You know, you can see that pretty well. Um, so, it's just, like, uh, pictures, basically, as it went along and shit. You can see that. Which is pretty cool, you know. And you can see here, um, that's a nipple. <laughs> I that was one of the first things I noticed. At least I mean, at least it's on her rather than Batman. That's that's a plus. I, I count that as something good. Um, yeah. Uh, and there's the real Batman doing his job. Alfred. Helping him out because he doesn't know what he's doing. He's lost. Alfred just pumps weights all day. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, it's towards near the end of Batman Begins, I believe. Uh, see that Batman wrapping up. Uh, this one, I believe, in the same exact area. It's just him not looking up yet. <laughs> just getting the shit kicked out of him. Um, and we, it's like, yeah, the production, it's like, you know, shows pictures of how they do did certain things and all that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Nolan describes his vision as Gotham as an exaggerated contemporary New York. Overwhelming, overwhelming, metropolis that completely immerses you. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then, you know, this goes for like movies, TV shows, anything. It's like the track by track certain little I don't know what they're exactly called um storyboard ah it says right there above storyboard sketches I should have fucking read that then they just play it out right there on the tumbler obviously right there some people like the tumbler I personally liked it it's better than I don't know and then you got you know what I am underneath and all that stuff then you got the dark knight regular dark knight one right there um, still my favorite of the. Sh I don't know. I like the first one, the second one. Third one's alright. Um, no, just simple pictures. Uh, get him in the frame. He Leather's Joker both on the side of the pages. Obviously, you can see that. Um, you got, uh, more pictures. I mean, a lot of this stuff. I don't think a lot of this stuff. I know that shot by angle. I think that was shot in the angle it was. I think all these are shot in the angle, other than some. And this one, you know, probably the, the best fucking scene in, like, almost the whole damn movie. Probably the best. I mean, this movie I've seen, like, a lot. That's that's about as good as I can count that. And then the, the truck by truck uh, frame on that, you know, flipping over. Just basically going to hell. You know. This took place in Chicago, which was like right next door to me. So I always noticed that it was Chicago every single time. And this is actually, I didn't know that. I always thought it was like CGI on this scene. But um, when he's up uh, close to, I think it was Lau's um, building. They're actually up there. There's no like big shit in that. They're actually up in that. It's like um, Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale, and crew prepare for a scene on the ledge of Hong Kong's tallest building, IFC2. I'd probably be the guy that's lower level. I hate heights. I want to be Batman. The Aquaman. I'll just swim all day. Um, <clears throat> you know. And then you got the Dark Knight Rises. Um, you know. You got some of these. I mean, you know. So certain little pictures and doodads they got in there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, just simple stuff. I mean, it's just like um, production pictures and certain things like that. Now this is one. This is one I thought was uh, 
pretty cool. Now this isn't a special features actually. Um, the this plane scene. If you have like I can get it better. If you have not seen how this is fucking done, it's pretty badass. Like right um, here, right here they're on the ground. But when they're doing all this sky stuff, they're actually legitly in the sky. And it's like the actors aren't inside. They all do it a certain way and all that. And it's it's pretty cool. Watch how they did it. And in this scene also. Um the okay. The fucking um football scene. When they're like blowing shit up left and right, and it's like, oh my god, over here, over here. You know. Um that was pretty cool how they did that. Uh oh. And the 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 bat, the big ass thing, how that's done, that's, it doesn't fly, but they built that whole machine, they built that, you know, it doesn't fly throughout the city, but they do CGI on certain parts, so, that's just that, uh, it's just a little, I guess I would say it's like a, uh, the screenshots of certain aspects of the movie, and then there's like, I have not read this whole thing, even though it's literally like a paragraph and then another paragraph. Um, I don't know why I haven't read it. I just, I mean, it's like, it's been 10 years. Okay, I'll read it someday. Um, it's just like saying that, um, it's, it's another thing, thing about thanking the fans and all that kind of stuff and how they work as hard as they can and stuff. I'll read it at some point. Uh, but the little things that I got are like the ones buried at the bottom. Um, are the little toy cars if you wanna per se. Uh, I got the tumbler here. Uh, they're not that. I mean, fingers length. They're not gigantic. They're not like taking up a whole box. But um, yeah, these are pretty cool to have. I used to have them on a shelf. I ran out of room, so I just put them in the box itself. I try not to move the box as much as they're in there. Um, you got the, the bat itself, and this also has a little stand-up thing, and it also flies sometimes, and it's pretty cool. Just kidding, I made that up. I was probably pissed about that. You motherfucker, you told me it fly. Sorry. I don't even know what this thing is called. Uh, I like, I got everything else in the movie, I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? I'll just call it Bat Motorbike. That's probably the shittiest thing you could give anything, but got this little thing, you know. Oh, seat came off. I thought I broke the damn thing. The seat just comes off. That's just how it is. It just clicks on and shit. I thought I busted it. <laughs> I'm like, I just broke the damn thing. But yeah, little spinny tires and all that kind of stuff. So, and I think that's it. Uh, I don't think this is anything. I don't believe. So yeah, um, you get let's review little message, but it might be a big message. Um, a screenshot book of everything. Got Gordon Joseph Gordon Lovett or something. Lovett, something like that. The name. Um, UV code. I don't use mine. I never used it. Uh, all the pictures, all the cool little. Uh, Whatchamacallits, pictures are in this. And then you got obviously the DVDs, all of them in there. All good and dandy. Let's go to the first one. There it is. There it is. Um, and then you got all the little bat cycle. I don't fucking know. Um, you got the uh, flying one, Jimmy, 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 or just the one that's stationary. And then you got Tumblr. So, I believe, um, how did I get this for? I think I got it for my birthday a while back. And um, I have watched all the DVDs, 
not all the bonus features yet. The bonus features are like the coolest things on how they set everything up. I mean, if you were to watch it, you should see. And there's my apple. I still gotta eat the damn thing. I'm gonna eat it right after this. But, um, you know, if you're, like, I know they're doing Batman's, this shit is turning, like, um, 30 years or something. They might do a special on that, so, um, but if you want something cool, all the movies, Gasmo Gidget Little Cars, um, drawings, pictures, um, screenshot bonus features, this is worth it, um, I thought it was worth it, uh, yeah, and also, if you didn't, never got this though, you can see right there, there's a number, I was 47,000 out of 213 out of 141,500, so, if, <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, I was still, like, what was the fucking number, like, it's not 100,000, like, 70,000, no, fuck, ow, oh, uh, it hurt, I had a blister on my finger, just blew up, but, you know, um, so if you can find this, I'd recommend buying it, if you just like the movies, I mean, it's nothing like, you get like bad rings or something like that. I think someday they're gonna have like a big collector's collector's edition. Like I, I'm gonna assume they had that by now, but you know, if you want something for now, recommend going with this. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, Batman Dark Knight trilogy trilogy collector's edition. Um, so if you're gonna get this, go ahead. Goodbye. Um, so you know. I guess that's going to wrap it up for me. So, I'm E-Dog. Thanks for watching, dogs and doggets. I'm out. Peace.